Hi there. Um, today I thought I would introduce you to the apply to all option within the strategy editor. Uh, this allows you to apply a rule to every single uh, participant in an event. Um, so we've got the Wolverhampton race at 2030 um, just about to come up in 15 minutes so we'll apply it here. So let's just say for example I wanted to lay every single runner here but I wanted to do it in running and place that lay 30 ticks below their current price. Um, to do that manually obviously is, is pretty difficult um, and as a, but you need to use a special option within the strategy editor. So let's just set that up first of all. We want to create a new strategy. Let's rename that and we'll rename it Racing lay all at minus uh, let's say 30 ticks now I should emphasize as I'm typing this I have absolutely no idea if this would work as a strategy I'm just using this as an example to show you the feature within the strategy editor okay um, so we can save that and it will jump up in into the list there in alphabetical order we need to add a rule now we want this rule to lay all lay all runners at minus 30 ticks we want this to happen in running so let's just put it uh, 5 seconds after the off 5 seconds to 10 seconds just to give time for the market to settle and the important thing is you need to click on the apply to all option click on action and although I'm laying all this is not the option that we want that does a completely different thing um, and it doesn't allow you to lay essentially allows you to lay at the same odds uh, everything at the same odds so that's great for if you're laying the field but that's not what we're trying to do today what we want to do is actually place a bet and if we choose all from the list here you see you get this warning message coming up so you may need to make sure that apply to all is selected we wish to place a lay bet at fixed odds is not suitable for us where you specify the, the odds here this would effectively be a lay the field what we want to do is the best back odds set that to minus that to 30 and the bet size we will do a fixed amount of 100 and set that as a liability so irrespective of how many runners get matched the maximum liability we will have is 100 filler kills are relevant um, because we're going to be getting this to go in after the off and there's no need to apply any conditions although you could for example you might not want to lay something that has a starting price above 100 for example but we'll leave that as is for the purposes of this exercise so click on OK there and the thing to note here is this area is shaded in a sort of turquoise blue uh, whereas normally it would be yellow that is a visual reminder that this applies to all runners uh, what we'll also add in is a rule that will green us up uh, but so first of all I like to put in my uh, a little audio message to say that I'm actually in the process of trading out again set that to five seconds there's no need to apply to all because this message will happen as part of the whole process uh, we wish to play a sound now this sound is one I've recorded earlier it doesn't come with Fairbot so you'll need to record it yourself we do have to apply a condition here and that is if the green up all option is set to uh, let's make a £10 profit here shall we hopefully uh, so it will play that sound saying trading out if the green up all option is 10 uh, choose OK for that and then we actually need to add the rule that will actually do the greening up green up all for uh, 10 pounds 
and again we'll set this to five seconds after the off the action is greening up all selections at the available price cancel any unmatched bets that's fine we again need to apply the same condition as we had earlier green up all for ten pounds and we'll click on OK for that save that and now what you'll find if I assign that particular strategy what was it where are you where are you there we are lay all for 30 ticks you'll see how it's applied our separate rule for every single runner now that's important because if you were manually applying this strategy it would take you ages to do each runner individually and imagine if you've got a 20 runner race by applying this mechanism here it doesn't matter how many runners are in the field it will always produce the equivalent number of uh, rules assigned to each individual runner okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and let's see how we get on in running I have no idea whether this strategy is <laughs> is remotely <laughs> possible or uh, profitable uh, but uh, anything for a giggle that's why I'm in simulation mode all right we'll come back once the race is underway all right we've skipped on a bit the runners are currently uh, loading so it shouldn't be too long before the start of the race and what we should find is that within five seconds after the start these executed options down here should say one slash one and that will apply to each of the runners um, from top to bottom um, and this one won't fire and that one won't fire until the green up all position is um, has reached 10 10 pounds okay so if we switch back to the bets tab um, you'll see the bets coming in here when they, they get fired when they get triggered uh, within five seconds or so just after the start of the race now as I say I, I just pulled this strategy off the top of my head just to demonstrate the apply to all option I have absolutely no idea if, <laughs> if this will work or not uh, but it's all part of the fun um, The difference between doing this and doing the lay all the the lay the field option or, or the lay all option is that uh, oh, the is now right, we're just starting. So those bets should fire in fairly soon. There we go. That'll be them coming in now. Yeah, as I was saying, the the difference between this and the lay all option, the lay all option uh, only allows you to specify a stake rather than a liability. Um, and it only allows you to specify a particular odd uh, setting for all the runners. In other words, they all get laid at the same price. Okay, so that's the first one uh, partially matched. It's getting nibbled away out there. Um, that's it. That's uh, for more or less £100. I'm interested to see if anything else gets matched. doesn't really matter if this uh, particular strategy works or not or this example works or not it's really there just to show you the, the apply to all option uh, which you may find useful if you're setting up strategies on fields with uh, uh, different numbers of runners and so on and spy down the bottom may get matched soon what's spy looking at Spy has to reach 5.1. There it is. Just going in. Okay, so that's spy matched. And there's a trading out figure. And as long as spy doesn't carry on improving, that trading out should work. 24. Oh, I maybe should do this more often. <laughs> okay, um, that was a surprisingly good result. Um, for what I was doing okay so you'll see that because I laid all the runners 30 ticks below it was unlikely that all of them were going to be matched 
um, and uh, that worked out quite well. So anyway, uh, the apply to all option allows you to set up a rule that gets applied individually to each runner within the race. Um, so remember that one if you ever need to uh, do multiple bets on different runners. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.